He's been one of rugby league's most controversial bosses, but after a 30-year reign over the Eels, CEO Dennis Fitzgerald could soon be made to walk the plank. Fitzgerald, along with longtime chairman Alan Overton, were voted off the board in election backlash, which attracted 2,000 votes. Club legends Ray Price and Eric Groth led the rebel group 3P, who now have a 5-2 majority. Fitzgerald has two years left of his contract, but a clause states the board can terminate his deal immediately by paying him a year's wage. The new directors will take over on May 5. In other NRL news, Nathan Hindmarsh is waiting a result from the judiciary after this strike on Darren Lockyer on Friday night. I thought he went down the side of him. I don't know if there was actually any contact really, so, you know, I didn't think it was that significant. Other players in trouble with the judiciary include Cronulla captain Paul Gallen for this high tackle on South Sydney's Craig Wing. And Bulldogs hooker Michael Ennis has been caught out for a chicken wing tackle against Canberra yesterday. You've grabbed the arm, you've worked it over, it's going on report. The Gold Coast Titans are gearing up to take on Penrith Panthers tonight in Sydney. And a triumphant comeback in boxing, Danny Green defeated South African Anthony Van Niekerk in Perth last night. The road to redemption, it begins for Danny Green. Green's been out of the ring since December 2007, but you wouldn't know it, knocking out 35-year-old Van Niekerk in just the second round. Todd Saunders, QT News.